Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I have another useless robot. I just love the faces you can put on these robots. But it's just really cool to build something simple and it's just um, kind of satisfying to watch. So if you want to see this useless robot, stay with me. Okay guys, before I get to the video, I actually had a chance to go back to my robotics classroom. It was just creepy to go back there. It's kind of one of those, you know, scenes where you go back in time and it's been like frozen in time. It was kind of neat going back going, wow, this was the way my room was before the school's locked down. So let me go ahead and show you how it was to go back to my robotics classroom. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. I'm back in my classroom um, to get some things that well I told you guys before I didn't take any sensors home so they uh, let us back on campus <clears throat> as you can see they told us to wear a mask and gloves and I'm just here to pick up some things that I told you guys I didn't have so let's take a look around the room so I definitely needed my Disinfecting wipes. Didn't realize before how important that was. Now I'm going to go get some sensors. Oh, these are the ones I've been missing. Remember how to get, get that infrared sensor because I didn't have my ultrasonics. So I'm going to take some color sensors home. I'm gonna take some touch sensors home. Can never have too many ultrasonic or color sensors, especially if um, they decide to go haywire on me. And I'm gonna take a couple of gyro sensors home too. Feels like I'm at a yard sale. Or it feels like I'm at the store hoarding stuff. Okay guys, I think my work here is done. Got everything I needed. I'll definitely have to come back another day to clean out everything and put everything away because there's this stuff everywhere. Like if you follow me here, stuff all over the place. What's a bummer is we were doing these um, assembly line robots before the schools close and now I'm gonna probably have to be the one to take it all apart so Just one of those things. Maybe I'll have the students next year take them apart And here's our city shaper table The way it was right before the schools closed uh, Wonderful city shaper table Okay, everybody, back to the video. Okay, guys, so this useless machine is like a light switch. When you turn it on, he's going to want to turn it off. Let's check it out. Okay, so the robot starts with his eyeballs like this when the light switch is off. But when you try to turn it on, he gets mad and turns it back off again. I don't want the light switch on. I want it off. He just won't let me keep the light switch on. I guess he's trying to conserve energy. So it's all about pressure release. You'll see here when I try to flip this switch on, it releases the touch sensor and activates the media motor to turn it back off again.
Okay guys, so there you have it, the useless machine. I can make a face like him too. So it's one of those cool EV3 uh, builds that super fast and it's just satisfying to watch. I know you can't do this forever, but it's really cool once you're, you know, once you build it and once you program it and it's just kind of cool to keep flipping it on and watching it flip it off again. So again, I'll leave you the instructions and the program in the description. You're gonna have to go to another website, but it's, it's worth it, definitely worth it. Okay guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. We've got this. He's out. We got this. He's out.